my my greatest satisfaction is to live out my purpose if i was made in the image of god then my purpose is to reveal the image of god so this is going to be an excerpt of uh, from when i got back from nashville i was in florida driving around everywhere and then uh flew to nashville and drove all the way back to Na uh, evansville so if you haven't seen any of the previous videos uh, moving to florida videos i highly recommend you watch them and yeah so enjoy this is when i got back we had some dope fellowship <laughs> <laughs> no, but here's the point. Here's the point. The point is, it's yours to now take and share. I don't have to share it. It's yours to now take and share, right? Yeah, no. You get that? I mean, because think about, and see, here's what we find when you look at scripture. You see, we see example after example. Think about Job. Isn't that what God was boasting about Job? God was bragging on Job. He said, "You know what? Take his kids, take his wealth, take his health, but he won't cur he won't curse me." And the Bible says that at the end, right, Job was vindicated. That's why I can't remember in what prophet, prophet God said, listen, if Daniel, Job, and who was the other third person were here and they asked me about this thing, I still wouldn't do it. But the point that God's making is, listen, these are the three people, at least in that time, that like moved him, right? So the goal to faith, now, so the best way I can put it is, the primary goal of faith is to give something to God receiving is a secondary goal <laughs> receiving, receiving, is a, you know, receiving is a secondary goal right now i don't even remember how we got on that tip i can't because because you this is what happened you started teaching and you don't know what we just got done talking about everything yeah. you just said on on faith and you said something that i really like you said um Faithfulness is not synonymous to impact. It's right. In this in in this in the sense that in the sense that you know what? I mean, even I guess to be more accurate, faith is not synonymous with natural impact. Right? Mm -hmm. In the sense that the imp the the effect of my faith may not be seen on this side of eternity at this point in time, but it's pleasing God. I mean think about think about what Think about John, John the Baptist. Think about his testimony, right? On this, what does Jesus say about, about John the Baptist? That no man born of a woman mm. is as great as this guy. Yeah. But in the kingdom of heaven, he's the least, right? So what Christ is saying is, prior to the ushering or the opening of the kingdom of God, right? That there has not existed a man <laughs> that is as great and admired and heralded as John the Baptist in God's presence. But how did this guy die? He was beheaded. Mm -hmm. I mean, he ate locusts and yeah. honey. Mm -hmm. He wore camel's hair. Meanwhile, there is no one greater than John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. So here's the question, right? When you look on earth, what who's John the Baptist? Nobody. Yo, you land heaven. There might be boulevards named after this guy. The halls. I mean, you know how but the point is this man is highly magnified and glorified and honored by the Lord. Right? Who was Paul? Like, you know, like the church, we celebrate Paul and think that Paul was a somebody, right? Mm -hmm. But who was Paul in his time? Paul was no one. Within the Roman Empire, Paul was a nobody. Right? Yeah. He really was. I'm not, I'm not talking about within the church. Yeah, within the church, he was an apostle. You know, he, was, he, was, he had traveled. He was well known. But even when you read what Paul says about the apostles, he says, you know, we the apostles, we are treated like crap. With the lowest of the low. We suffer the most, right? Mm -hmm. But he was respected and admired within the church. We'll leave it at that. Okay, but within the Roman Empire, who was Paul? Paul was nobody. Yeah. Right? But you come before a demon. You come before a demon. What does the demon say? He says, Jesus, I know I'm Paul, I know. Yeah. yeah. Right? So this is so I'm like, this is a we we have to start, you know, I'm like, you, you gotta think I'm like, hey, dude, you know, when Jesus Christ says, um, 
you know, you got to be willing to give up on this life to have eternal life, right? Or you got to die to yourself and take up your cross to be worthy of Him. I'm like, that's what Christ is saying is what real, what this thing that we think is reality, the things that we think matter on this side of, the, of eternity, the things that have value on this side of eternity are hardly anything in God's eyes. Hardly anything, right? So what I'm doing to, to go viral, to get followers, the, the, all that admiration I'm getting here, yeah. on the other side of eternity, it could be nothing mm. at all. At all. Man, I have 5 million followers on Twitter. Meanwhile, in heaven, no one knows my name. Right, right. Right. That, that, that's, that, you know, so I'm like, so, you know, again, I'm, I'm just going off. But again, you know, we come back to faith. And we, you know, and, and I mean, how many times do we deal with that? You know, I prayed and I had faith and I, you know, and nothing happened. And it seemed like God didn't answer. But I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, here's the point. God was pleased. Yeah. That is the primary goal yeah. of faith. That's so good. And what, isn't that how Hebrews 11, 11 starts? Of, I think one of the first few verses says, without faith, you can't please God. it is impossible to please yeah. God. So what does that immediately tell you? That the primary purpose of faith is the glorification and the pleasuring of God. It's not yeah. my receiving. It's not what I get. My greatest joy, right? If I was made in the image of God, what that means is my, my greatest satisfaction is to live out my purpose. If I was made in the image of God, then my purpose is to reveal the image of God, to glorify Him. So faith is given to me that I may glorify Him. Not that I may receive for myself, but that I may give back to Him. Right? So the times that I'm going to pray for people and lay hands on people and sure enough, hey, they'll be they'll be healed. The times that I'm going to pray for a new job or pray for financial breakthrough and it comes through. But even when it doesn't come through, the fact that I prayed in faith and walked in faith, even when I don't see that thing, it pleases God because that's the primary goal of faith. Amen. That's good, man. Yeah.